Hey, welcome to another My Two Good Hands video. Hey, we're going to show you how to build this. Pretty simple, kind of like our birdhouses. Go watch the other videos for the birdhouse. We got one with a tin roof. We got one with a wood roof. But hey, this is for feeding your squirrels in your yard. Stay tuned. Watch the video. Easy how to. Hey, welcome back to another My Two Good Hands video. We're still working on yard projects. Remember, we made this great little birdhouse. Uh, you can go see the video. We made this one. We made one with a steel roof. There are two other videos on how to do that. So today, what are we going to do? We're going to build something similar to this. We're going to make a squirrel feeder where you put the piece of corn on here. We got our scrap of wood here. And we're going to get going. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this piece and this piece. And we're going to make new sides and a new front. We're going to lay it all out, and you're going to see it here right now. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe to My Two Good Hands. You'll get the videos on this, and there's a whole bunch of others out there. Use the Amazon links to shop. No matter what you buy, even if it's something else, if you come in on a link from this channel, it helps support the channel. We appreciate your help. Thanks. So the first thing we're going to start out with is the uh, making the back piece. Uh, flush it up here. And just come down here and uh, make sure this is lined up. Draw a line here. We're then going to tip this up this way and measure it. Nice tape measure. We're going to measure this one here. The base here is six and a half inches. So our next piece is going to be six and a half inches. So we are going to measure. Uh, what we usually do is put the one here and then we go seven and a half. So we're going to have seven and a half inches here. And that's our two pieces for the bottom and the base. We wanted to have this on the top. We wanted to have this on the top. So the easy way to do that is we're just going to line this up like this. And we're going to retrace it. Just like that. So we've got the two cuts we're going to make on the top. So we're going to cut this is the chop saw. This is the chop saw. We'll flip these up. We're going to cut another piece that sticks up. Uh, we're going to make that stick up. So that piece is going to be uh, two inches. So we're going to come here. We're going to measure two inches. That's our two inch piece right there in the front. We're going to cut those in the chop saw. We're going to put this together. And then we're going to calculate how to make this piece on the end come all the way to the front. Let's get cut. Set this piece aside for now. I'm cut these other pieces off. There you go. Once you got these cut off, you want to figure out how long to make your side. You can stack these up. Doesn't matter how you stack them up, by the way. So you stack them up like that. Come in and measure this for the side plate. Side plate needs to be eight inches long. So we're gonna come over here, measure eight inches. Put our line across here. You're gonna cut this. Now you have to remember how we want this. We want this to go on the side here. And uh, we want it to be like this. We want this piece to be up here. So what we are going to do is line this up. And just like this, so we're going to make a mark right here. Because that's the exact height. Uh, so you can see we made a mark. All right. The next thing we want is a mark on the other side up top so if that one's there 
this one that comes around this way and we make another mark and we can just hold this like this and we can make another mark here so we got a mark here so we got a mark here and here we can measure that it should be two inches it is two inches so we're going to come to the other side going to make a mark going to make a mark here at two inches we're going to use a straight edge we'll just use this board come across here from mark to mark that's got our sides so let's get you over to the bandsaw we're going to cut these on our bandsaw Our dust collection. The first cut this long one. Overcome our two sides, gotta do some edge round. We're gonna cut this one. We got our parts cut. The next thing we got to do is mark where we're going to edge round. So to figure out where we want to round stuff, I'm going to set this up like it would be together here. Put this piece in the front. We know we're going to put this here. So we are going to want to edge this piece there. So the whole side of this and this edge. So we are going to round this edge and then all the way around on this side. This one needs to be opposite. So we put it on. We're going to round this edge and we're going to turn this around. And we're going to round all edges on this. So we got those marked. Now, the next thing we have to do is figure out where we're going to round this to. And we know that this is on here like this. So we know that we want to stop right here. And we turn it around, do the same thing on this side. So we're going to stop right here. Mark that on the other side. The other side here. So we're going to stop about here and here. We're going to do this. This edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And we're going to do the same thing over here. This edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. But again, we're going to stop here at the line. So we're going to do these. This one here in the front, we're just going to do one edge in the front. And that's it. So let's get this thing set up and get cotton. Looks like those are the ones we have to do. The base won't get anything. In. Okay, let's see if we fire this thing. Give me a top line.
Okay, so you can see we've got right and left of this now. We've got a front and back. We're going to take a hand file and deburr some of this just a little bit and then uh, paint it. We got to file up the rack just to make sure we deburr some of this so it doesn't have any fuzzies on it. There we go. Well, we're going to go stain and varnish and what have you these, and uh, we'll bring you back when we go to put it together. Welcome back to My Two Good Hands. Hey, the paint is dry. So uh, some of the things we've got here, we've got nails. We've got 18 gauge. They're inch and a quarter. They are the galvanized ones because they'll be outside. We don't want the rust coming out. Uh, we chose to stain a couple pieces, and then... Uh, a couple other pieces are uh, stained to match our house. So there you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with hooking up our nailer. We already loaded our nails. And you'll find that it really helped. We have a C-clamp or a clamp, so we'll get one clamp off the wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to look at this. When you look at grain and the way you want it, never put the side up that's like this. Uh, you always want it like this. That's the way the water naturally drains. We're going to get our glue. Put a little glue on there. And then we are going to figure out which side of this we want facing. We're going to do it this way. And we're going to uh, put this on here like this. And then uh, that's going to work like that. Okay. I'm going to open this, open this up. I'm going to take this, I'll just lay it on the table like this, line it up. A nice thing about using a clamp instead of just nailing it is you can uh, make sure your edges are all lined up just the way you want them. We can take our nailer, put a couple nails. Once we get a couple nails there, we can go ahead and release the clamp and put a couple more nails in this surface here. Now be careful with your grain. Sometimes you'll get one of these nails that curls like this. Uh, we can pull them out. They actually come out pretty easy. Just like that. So that's got that piece done. Now the sides, there's one for each side, and then there's a front piece. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put this front piece on. Front piece goes like this. We did radius the top, and so we're going to put it on like this. Uh, and when you get a small piece like this, you can just take it and uh, whoop, whoop, and line it up there. Make sure none of your fingers are in the way of your nails. Once you get that done, you're going to lay it on the side like this. Look for the one with the two edges that fits. Line it up there. Put some glue. Line that up really nice there. In the front where you see it the most. In the back. You can come along and... Uh, Okay. 
Boom. We'll turn it over. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it fits okay. Nail it on. Just like that. We did this so any loose, loose corn pieces will get caught. Now, now we're going to set up a uh, drill. We've got our screws for mounting it to the wall. We need to make sure we get a drill that these will kind of pass through. We're going to drill our two mounting holes. We'll put one right up here in the center. We're going to come down here and put another one. Oh, we're going to say about six inches away. Those will be for these, uh, these screws for mounting it to the wall. And there you go. Mount it to the wall, mount it to the tree. We're going to... Uh, So now we've got a screw that's got threads up near the head here. So we'll be able to put a hole through here and put that in. We're going to drill a very small hole for that, very small pilot hole. We'll come right in the center here, front to back and right to left. And we got the hole all the way through. You can see it here. It will allow us to take our screwdriver and start this one in. Now, right before we tighten this screw up, we're going to put a drop of glue here so that we kind of glue the head. Oh, we thought we put a drop. There we go. So, we put a little drop of glue here, and we can put this screw in. That way it uh, won't want to come out. Then when you put your corn on for the uh, squirrels, take it like this, turn it on the screw. Snug that up. There you go. So you can see we've got the corn on there. Got way to mount it. Easy as pie. Just made it from some scraps of wood. Uh, we love the squirrels in the neighborhood, so uh, hopefully you love yours, and this will help. You can see we even caught the loose kernels that fell off inside. So don't forget to like and subscribe to My Two Good Hands. Please use the video links below to shop. Uh, we'll put some links for some of the things we use. We'll put links for the... Uh, Nailers we use, that sort of thing. Uh, we appreciate all the support. Anything you buy through an Amazon link, even if it's something else for your house, I do get a little bit of commission on it. And it doesn't cost you anything. It helps support this channel. So please like and subscribe. We will catch you in the next video.